String art, in all of its colorful optimism, is now often relegated to the back of the closet. But I think this sharp-edged geometric art form is worth a new look. Today we're going to make these super simple string art sculptures with a little help from a friend, multi-talented actress Elizabeth Berkeley. Come on out, Elizabeth. Hi, Yay! Tom. How are you? So great to see you. You too. I'm so excited to try this. I've never done it before. No string art? No, never. I've well, never done string art. I know you've had a couple of costumes about this big, but... Yeah, about them. <laughs> that's about <laughs> it. Like, just hanging there on a nice little hanger waiting to be put on. So they do put it on a hanger? Yeah, they do do that. They actually, I mean, I think it's just for, for comedy benefit, you know what I mean? Just to brighten my day so that it doesn't feel so crazy, but yeah, <laughs> that has been done before. <laughs> well, we're going to use a little more string than they normally do in your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to come up with a great one of a kind today. We just need a few supplies. I've pre-cut a 20-inch square of 3 quarter inch plywood and a 28-inch square piece of burlap. Start by folding the burlap in a half an inch and staple along the folded edge. Working from the opposite sides, continue stapling all around. Fold the corners in like you're wrapping a present and staple. I thought since there's two of us today, mm -hmm. why don't we do two different ones? We'll make two rectangles on here. Okay. And then you can wind one and I'll wind the other. Great. All right, great. Now, the way to determine where your nails go, you can cut some graph paper like this. And I think these two shapes would look very nicely. Kind of two rectangles. That's Does that look great. good? great. Love it. And this gives you a guideline for inserting the nails. Hammer around your frame using the graph paper as a guide. Once you're finished, tear the graph paper off the frame and you'll be ready to start stringing. Since our show today is about color, most of the time when you hear the word color, it's all people think psychedelics are as bright as it can be, and believe me, I'm one of them. Yes. But I think it's very nice when you honor both, and it's really the balance of bright hues with soft hues, or sort of the paradox that's created by combining colors that aren't normally seen. Right, so right. to start this, we have to choose a place to tie it off, and depending on whether you want to make something that's, say, got an X pattern in the center, like, hey, let's walk over here and have a okay. visit. This is almost like our library. Yes. So you can see that if you create something that has an X pattern, you would want to start your string here and go all the way over to this. And you see, you can sort of see the rhythm and it would fill in the middle. Right. And if you wanted to create something that was open here in the middle, you would start at the end and then cross back a little bit. Oh. So that by, it's, by the time you've wrapped it all the way around, you've got a little open. That space. But you can see kind of from here, it's just endless, the possibility. Love it. So I know when we get to yours, why don't you do one that's completely covered and I'll do one that has a big opening in the okay. center, sort of like our wall here. Great. So start. Now I'm excited and nervous all at the same time. We'll that's get a good nervous. thing, right? It's very good. <laughs> good motivation. All right, so tie this off on that corner right okay. there. Just make a good double knot, and I'll do oh the same gosh. right up here. It's good to leave a little bit extra because by the time you come back around to finish it, you'll have something to tie it off okay. to. So okay. leave about an extra six inches. Okay. All right, so starting here, mm -hmm. okay, take your string yep. and wrap it all the way to the opposing corner. Okay. And you want to kind of pull it taut. So there's some tension. A little bit of it. tension, but not where it would snap. Okay. Okay, now. Pretty much the next steps are completely repetitive, but they have to be exactly the same. Okay. So come off of that yep. and go back up and walk counterclockwise. Okay. One over. Okay. So go to that one. Yep. Excellent. And then counterclockwise back to that one. Just like right there. There we go. Counterclockwise ah. to that one. I'll undo your yarn for you here. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, and then, and then back, back to here. this one. Wow. See, it's already starting to take I'm very shape. excited. <laughs> you keep going, just keep it going counterclockwise, oh, okay. and go right to that one. Right. Excellent. And then right bring to there. Yeah, oh just God. keep turning the corner. You're doing okay. really well. So you're right almost at the end here. Okay. So go oh. around that one, take it back down to here, okay. and then we'll take it right up there and we'll tie it off. All right, so I think that looks amazing. I love it. All right, so now let's do one with an opening in the center here. Great. Go here. And then here. Now, will you be yeah. the yarn untangler? Okay. And we just keep moving right across. How am I doing with this? I think you're doing excellent. Okay. Is this your I'm going to add this to my resume. Yarn wrangler? It is. It it's is. Very good. You know, it's a skill. It is. It's all in the wrist. Now, I mean, it's so interesting because you must have fans from all kinds of walks of life. From, I mean, you, you have quite a few movies that a lot of people right. saw, right. And quite a few TV shows that a lot of people saw. Can it's you? true, it, it is nice that they're, they've been seen. Oh, absolutely. Because you, know? you can work for years in this business and it kind of could just die on a video That's shelf true. somewhere, right? And lots of us have seen lots of you. Yes, so, yes. Um. <laughs> That's what I thought today, you know, just wear a t-shirt and jeans for you. Um, but what it's, I mean, I know Showgirls had all sorts of 
people responded to it in all different ways when it came out. Yeah, it's funny because that movie, yeah, it definitely was met with a lot of controversy when it initially came out. And then, funny enough, it has found this interesting little life, like this either cult kind of favorite. Oh, you yeah. Know? Because again, like if something doesn't do well, it can just die on some Disappear. video stuff and you never hear about it. It, it strangely found this interesting, interesting life after that. So any movie that can can cause a drinking game. <laughs> true, true, that's true. Very, very good. <laughs> well, I yeah. love it. I'm grateful you did it. Thank you. No, and it, and it definitely opened up my career for me. You know, then I worked with like Woody Allen and Oliver Stone and Al Pacino and great women like on First Wives Club. And also, people recognize you as a brave girl, and I think that's really cool. Thank you. Because a lot of us, I don't know, I just, I, I think I would. I just love the way you put yourself out and the Thank way you, you're so thorough about it and, and it shows on the screen and we're, we're grateful for that. Well, the thing is in life, you know, you, take, you have to take risks, I feel, and sometimes you're going to get beaten up for it and it makes you strong, but then you, you can't let it stop you from just moving exactly. forward because nobody goes unscathed. You know, mine was very public because <laughs> of the kind of work that I do, you know, and other people have gone through that in the business. And I figured out a long time ago that no matter what I do, someone is happy and someone is sad. Right. And it doesn't matter what no, you do. No, and it's so hard, though, to get there. Yeah, and you just have to understand, and then here we go. Right, <laughs> right, absolutely. Well, a bit like string art, I suspect. Yes. You're either going to love it or you're <laughs> they not. They might like it open, and they might like it closed. <laughs> exactly. Right? Well, we're at the end of this one, so we just uh, bend this around. Now we pull it tight. It's our first string art project, I love Elizabeth. It. Oh my gosh! Ta -da. See, this didn't exist how many minutes ago? A few okay, minutes. That's what's amazing. It's it's right in front of us. It's Very amazing. nice. Well, Elizabeth, I loved Great. our time together. Oh, me too. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much, sweetie. Thank you. I hope we get together and play this with string so, again I soon. I love it. Anytime. <laughs> Wait, when is Bobby able to do something? Never. Like that? He's never seen me. <laughs> you got her to do that, and it came out. So